Hello, hello everyone! I'm back! This is Dali from my kitchen to yours. At ngayon, ang ating episode ay isang napakasikat na recipe of a bread which is cheese roll. But I have my own version. This is my own baker's formulary. Dali's version. So, ano yung mga ingredients natin? Ito na! 120 grams cake flour, 480 all-purpose flour, both organic, non-bromated, and non-GMO, water, 250 grams, 10 grams yeast, sugar, 120 grams, organic, salt, 7 grams, extra virgin coconut oil 120 grams two whole eggs an average of 90 grams milk 20 grams cut cheese for the filling sugar for toppings later okay also we have our optional ingredients our pure vanilla and yellow coloring into the bowl our flour make a well at the center Put the eggs, water, our yeast, our sugar, milk, and then hold the extra virgin coconut oil and then the salt. You have your optional ingredient here, our vanilla, just a few drops. And a yellow food coloring, optional as well. Okay, into the mixer. Using our dough hook, attach it to our mixer. Pag wala naman kayong dough mixer or wala kayong machine, you can use your hand. Speed number one. So the flour and the water ingredients are now incorporated. Add the salt. Add our extra virgin coconut oil. This is a soft dough. Medyo lambok and sticky but very soft and fluffy when it comes to baking our cheese roll. Number two, so when you see that you may do mama sa masa, you can add all-purpose flour. Just grab a few grams of all-purpose flour. Continue beating until 10 minutes or until the dough becomes elastic. Let's check. 10 minutes is up. Let's check using window pane check. So it's really very sticky. Wow. Ready. Wow. Disinfect our board by using vinegar. I have here our extra virgin coconut oil. Basta in lang. Also add extra virgin coconut oil on the board. Wow, ang ganda ng dough. 
This is very soft, very fluffy. So kung wala kayong machine, so pwedeng gamitin ang inyong mga kamay. Exercise, mano-mano. Look. So kailangan walang jewelry. So wala akong jewelry. So it is important that you have a dough scraper. It's a must. And you also have a dough cutter. Okay? Pwede tayong magamit ng konting, konting, konting lang flour. This is a... Uh, all-purpose flour. Konting, konti lang. This is how you use your fingering finger. Dito ipasok. Yan ha. That's a special tip from Dali. Itong gagamitin nyo. Heel of your hand. Heel of your palm. Maganda kasi ito. Very soft and fluffy. So, ginaganyan yan. Palo, palo. Pack. Ganun na pagmasa. Mano-mano. Ganyan. Palo. Noong araw, walang measure-measure. Tansya-tansya lang sila. Isang sako. So, ganito karami ang tubig. Ganito karami ang sugar. Takal-taka lang sila. Estimate. But, it was perfect. Sa lola ko noon, dahil master na niya, so, takal-taka lang din siya. Nakikita ko yung panadero ng lola ko. Palo-palo sa mesa. Pag may time, ganun na ginagawa. Oh, ganyan. Pack. Done. Down, fold hanggang mag-develop ang gluten at ready na ang ating tinapay ganun, pinapalo-palo huwag ka maingan magamitin kita ng mga okay, palo pero ready na itong ano natin ha ayaw ko i-overbeat then ferment for 45 minutes to an hour grease ang ating bowl Forty-five minutes to an hour. Okay, kita kits pule after fermentation. Okay, ready for fermentation. All right, one hour is up. Let's grease our board again with extra virgin coconut oil. I'm using a very healthy oil. You may opt to use butter if you want to. Unsalted butter, shortening vegetable lard. Do so. When look at the dough, it doubled in size. Punch the dough to eliminate the sour odor. Perfecto. There you go. Oh, wow. Punch, punch, punch. Okay, let's divide this dough into 70 grams. So we will have uh, two designs. One is just we're gonna just roll it flat, and the other one is. We have to have a little design. Pero kung pang negosyo ninyo, nasa inyo ang costing kung magkano, ilang grams ang gusto ninyo, at magkano din ang ipresyo ninyo kung negosyo ito. Since ito'y home baking lang, so lakihan ko na. Ang ganda ng dough. Kailangan walang hangin. Kung gumagamit ka ng electric fan, turn it off kasi magiging crusty ang ating dough at mahina ang tubo niya pag mag-dry ang kanyang outer crust. Tiis-tiis na lang kung mainit. Here we are. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Okay, round natin. Pwede yung pagsabayin. Let's see how soft is the dough. This is our finished product. Sabayin natin. So again, first in, first out. Okay, rest for 5 minutes. Cover para hindi maging flaky. Huwag lang bigyan ng force ha. Magaan lang, huwag na itiin. Ayaw nyo mag-collapse ang dough. So 5 minutes gagawa tayo ng dalawang designs. Cover lang talaga ang inyong dough kasi masyadong delikado pa. Mag-flaky siya, mag -try. First in, first out. Remember, first nating design is gawin nating square. No, not square, but rectangle. 
and make sure the shiny side nasa other side. Okay? Huwag gaano nipisan ang gitna kaya baka mapunit. Seal lang ito. Ayan. Seal. Kailangan mabilis ang mga kamay ninyo kasi abutan ng tubo. Yung home baking lang, just be creative. So, wala naman tayong machine to do everything. And then, bilis-bilisan lang din. Aabutan na tayo ng tubo ito. Pag overproofing naman siya, babagsak. So, take note, if it's overproofing, babagsak ang inyong dough. So, make sure na mabilis ang mga kamay. Para lang kayo nagbabalot ng lumpia. Okay, cheese roll. Proofing box natin is our oven. Proof natin ng 25 to 30 minutes. So, we have another design. Another design ng ating cheese bread. Cheese roll. Ang daming cheese. Wow. Very generous. So, roll lang ito parang croissant. Okay? And then, seal down ito may this one down okay ito mas mabilis very easy look at the design nasa inyo kung anong preference nyo yung una o itong pangalawa still the same cheese roll okay and then seal down so poof I'm giving this 25 minutes okay 25 minutes everything Okay. Preheat the oven into 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And now, ang isang batch or isang design, i-brush natin ng egg wash. Just be very careful na hindi mag-collapse ang dough. And we have to leave this here on the table without cover and make sure na walang hangin inside the room. No electric fan. If you have an air conditioning unit, you may do so. Basta hindi lang direct yung kanyang hangin sa ating dough. Alright, into the oven. Bake for 15 to 18 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Wellness through healthy food preparation prevents us from getting sick. Salad Master Cookware is a healthy cookware. It is made of 316 titanium stainless steel, pure, clean, non-toxic cookware, and it has a limited lifetime warranty. Here we are! So beautiful! Look at the top with butter and sugar. So let's proceed with the tiki mantai. Okay, here, look. Oh wow! Look at the cheese. Dough is perfect. Look at this. Here, here, oh my goodness, perfect, it's so yummy, mm. Mm. 